is awesome. Oh man, this is the best. God, I love doing comedy. It's so much fun. Um, and I'll tell you guys a secret. The best thing about being a comic, honestly, is uh, it keeps you young. Financially. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, the driver's license is 32. Bank account? 17? I don't know why I have it. Like, I got my taxes done. They gave me a balloon and a lollipop. They're like, you're adorable. <laughs> Get out of here. That's humiliating. It's tough being broke, especially in New York City. Uh, one thing that really helped me out, though, is this, this is a new thing in New York. We have dollar pizza now. Uh, 99 cent pizza. It wasn't always a thing. I, like, I don't know how dollar pizza started. Uh, it ends with farts. I know that. Uh, but it has helped me out so much financially, okay? Not only from eating it, but eventually I started to see dollars as pizza. And that, that's when the savings clicked in, okay? Because all of a sudden a friend would come up to me like, Grant, you want to go to this concert? 50 bucks? All I hear is 50 slices of pizza. Like, what do you think, I'm made of pizza? I can't throw pizza around like that. Like, yeah, listen, you want to flush your pizza down the toilet, fine, okay? But I got to get back to work. Time is pizza, all right? I mean, my rent is over a thousand slices a month. I can't even conceptualize that much, all right? I think that should be enough to build a shelter made of pizza and just live out my fat kid fantasy of living in a pizza hut. Uh, but it's not helping the waistband, obviously, the all-pizza diet. Uh, I, uh, I wanted to get in shape. I was doing yoga for a while. And listen, I like yoga. I, I just hate the people that love it, okay? <laughs> what are you talking about? They take like 10 classes, they get a little holier than thou. And you know, that makes me suspicious of yoga in general, right? Because it's supposed to be this great meditative thing, but it seems like the more you do it, the further your head goes up your own ass. <laughs> Like so much so, I'm starting to think that is the most advanced yoga position. Right? Is that the final pose? Is that it? Inward facing asshole, I think. that makes me a little weird about yoga is, you know, all the times I did yoga, you know why I never saw doing yoga one time? An Indian person. It's like, that's a little weird, right? Right, if it's so great, it's so healthy, where are they? They invented it. And they're like, yeah, no, we stopped. Uh, like a thousand years ago. And we're doctors now. Stretching doesn't cure anything. Make an appointment, Dr. Patel. We'll take a look at that back. <laughs> I, uh, I've been going at it. Uh, I've been having a lot of trouble with my family lately. I have an older sister. We fight all the time. And uh, it's worse because she's a therapist. This is the worst, okay? Because we get these weird psychoanalytical arguments. It's very complicated, okay? Uh, like the other day, we're in the middle of this argument. She's like, Grant, I'm never talking to you again. I'm like, all right, I'm never talking to you again. So we're never talking again, right? An hour later, she sends me this email. Attached to the email is this article about resentment. Yeah, which I resented immediately. I'm like, what is this? So I sent her back an email with an article attached about passive aggressive behavior. So, uh, she fires one back about the competitive male ego. Yeah. So I sent her a computer virus. I won, so I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> this is great. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, I love traveling. I love, being, I love traveling in our country. I love traveling to other countries. I'll tell you guys the most exotic place I've ever been uh, is China. I've been to China. I'll tell you guys two things about China you're not going to read about in any guidebook, okay? First thing, if you go, you're going to hear a lot of language spoken, and you're going to think you hear a lot of the N-word flying around. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of it, okay? So get the, it turns out that the word nega means that. In Mandarin. Yeah, that is a pretty common word, okay? Now get this, also 100% true. Booyah means don't want. <laughs> Seriously. So, yeah. 
If you're at a market in China and someone's aggressively selling you something you're not into, I mean, it is totally legit just to go, booyah, nega. And they're not offended. You're just reaching out. You're a cultural ambassador. Hey, thanks. And the other crazy thing about China, you're not going to read about, okay? So I don't think they want you to know, is the food is gross. Uh, it is none of the stuff you want it to be. Look, I'm not some ignorant American. I don't go over there expecting the same stuff. But, you know, they're eating stuff in China that makes a Temple of Doom look like an Applebee's. Okay? <laughs> I swear to God, I had duck's blood. I ate cow intestine. And I saw this on a menu. Special of the house. Boiled yak penis. It's like, dude, you want me to eat... A yak penis? <laughs> Grill it, at least! <laughs> Get a char on there! <laughs> oh boy, I mean, you're you going to boil it? This is, this is flaccid? It's juicy, it just bursts in my mouth like a gusher? <laughs> Booyah, nega, come on. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.